Okay, welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you my simple radiation detector. Uh, here's how it works. Right here I've got um, positive uh, 9 volts. Um, right, This little piece of copper wire is connected to the base of this transistor. It's a Darlington transistor. Um, the output of that is fed to this transistor which is uh, another Darlington transistor. One's a PMP, one, the other's the NPN, so it acts as a uh, push-pull amplifier. Um, the output of that transistor goes into this LED and down, drain down through here. Okay, um, on this other side we've got, let me zoom in a little bit, we have a uh, couple couple more transistors one two the same same configuration as first two except uh on this transistor it's not uh the base is hooked up like it is over here so it's really not amplifying anything but the reason why we put it in the circuit is to control uh heat because uh the sense uh, this circuit's so sensitive that the change in room temperature can cause it to go off but that corrects it with uh, this transistor. Okay, I'm gonna hook it up and turn it on. Uh, also have a buzzer on here, and that's about it. I'll show you with that sample from my last video of the americium 241. Let me hook it up. You see, it already it's going off, probably from static. Um, first time I tried to. Uh, make this video, uh, the camera was causing the detector to go off because I guess the lens on the camera has some type of radioactive material in it, but we'll get it going. So you can see the LED lights up before the it goes off. I'm going to turn off this light so you can see the LED a little bit better. Okay. Now I'm going to get close to it. The LED starts lighting up, and then when you get even closer, the buzzer goes off. When you get even closer, it's really loud. Zoom it in a little bit more so you can see it better. I'll turn it sideways also. So you can see how close I'm getting to it. Alright, here comes the radioactive cameras. Coming on. So pass by. Up. Get really close to it. It's picking it up from even back here. That's a pretty good distance for. I mean, I only built this for five bucks. Transistors cost nothing. Uh, a few cents a piece. Um, the most expensive part on it here is the breadboard, but I'm going to take and uh, actually solder it all to one of these little boards so i got a radio shack, and uh, try to put it inside of this mag lot, actually, so split the uh, breadboard, or this little board in half, but yeah, that's pretty good for really cheap radiation detector. How this works is uh, this this right here, this radioactive material, it ionizes the air between the base of that transistor and this metal plate because there's nine volts on this plate right now. And uh, actually, my finger will pick up because this is such a sensitive amplifier that they actually they use this in like your iPod for the touch screen. Uh, you can touch that rod and it'll go. Off. 